Hi everybody, this is Beth at Fiberspace and today I am going to be doing our unboxing of our supplies for our mission cabling space mission. This is a free video series of tutorials for class on how to make a cabled scarf. You can find a complete list of the materials with links to purchase them in our web store and find all of the tutorial videos here on Instagram TV or YouTube. We'll be adding new videos as we progress with the project. Today we're going to show you what you're going to expect to find when you order your supplies for the Mission Cables mission. So you might see them in one of our Fiberspace mailers if we've mailed them to you. Looks like this. Very exciting to find in your mailbox with some happy mail. And then let's go ahead and take a look inside. So we've got lots of fun stuff for this mission. Again, you can find a complete list of supplies on our website. So for this mission, we're going to be making this cabled scarf. And if you purchase the Mrs. Moon Plump that we recommend from us, this is a free pattern that comes with that yarn purchase. You are welcome to use another yarn as well. And then you would just purchase this pattern directly from Ravelry. There is a link in our blog post about how to do so. So there's our copy of the pattern. And this, skein ta this project takes three skeins of the Mrs. Moon Plump. So you're gonna go ahead and see one, two, and three skeins in whatever color you choose. There's lots of beautiful colors to choose from. This color is slushy, which is a beautiful teal blue. These skeins will need to be wound into a ball before they're ready to use. If that's something you'd like to have us go ahead and do before you place your order, you can just leave a note in the notes section of your web order to go ahead and wind those up for you. Otherwise, they will need to be wound into a ball um, by hand, which is also possible. All right, and then if you've gotten the rest of your supplies, you'll also see some fun notions from us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over what you uh, might expect to see and what they'll be used for. Uh, so here, this project uses a size 17 or 12 millimeter needle. Uh, so we have options in straight or circular. They're both good choices. Um, so this is a pair of the straight needles in wood. Uh, wood needles can be really nice if you're a beginner uh, because they make it a little less easy for your stitches to go sliding off of them. So there are some needles for the project. And then the next thing that you'll need is some kind of cable needle. So we have three options that will work for this project. This is my personal favorite. This is a wooden needle that has a slight curve to it. When we go to do the cable stitches, we're gonna be putting some stitches on hold, and this little curve keeps them from sliding off. So this is a great option. We also have these. Uh, these are magnetic in the middle, so if you have one of our magnetic bracelets or Maker's Keep, these are a really handy version because you can go ahead and stow them on that as you're using them. They are straight, um, so they are they don't have anything special to keep the stitches in place, but so this is such a bulky project that that's not as um, necessary as usual. And then they also come in a big variety of sizes. So this is a great option if you think, I'm gonna love cables, I'm gonna wanna cable everything, then you'll have a great set that will have all the different sizes you need for the future because you'll need different size cable needles depending on what size needles and yarn that we're using. And our last set here, they have these nice little notches and those notches keep your stitches from sliding off. So this is another really great option that also comes in three sizes. So when you go ahead and place your order, you can go ahead and pick whichever one of those seems the most interesting to you. Um, they're all great options and they're all available in our web store. So you're gonna need your needles and then a set of cable needles of your choice, just one set is fine. Uh, we do recommend that if you don't have one, you go ahead and grab a jumbo tapestry needle. As you can see, the yarn that we're going to be using is quite thick. And so you're going to need a needle with a large eye like this to make sure when it comes time to weave in your ends, you can get that through easily. This is a really nice set of two with a little blunt, bent tip also available on our web store. And then we have some optional notions that are just things that I love to use, uh, that I recommend, but that are not necessary, so it's up to you. One of them is a row counter. Um, with cable projects, it's really important to keep track of where you are so you know when to cable or when to do which stitches that you're doing. This is the Coco Knits row counter. It's magnetic on the back, so it attaches to the Maker's Keep or other magnetic bracelet, and you can go ahead and click it forward easily. One of my favorite features of it is this locking feature so that when you toss it in your bag, um, you can go ahead and lock it up and then it won't move anymore. Let me go ahead and slide that over. And so then now um, when I go to push on that, it's not, it's stuck there. So it's not going to move. 
And then we also have some stitch markers um, that are particularly for these extra large needles. So they're jumbo, jumbo stitch markers. I like to use this in this pattern because um, that will let you mark off each section of cables. And if you ever find you're trying to cable across the stitch marker, it means something has gone wrong. So these are just a really great way to keep track of which stitches you're cabling at which time. And that is our unboxing video for Mission Lace. You can find a complete supply list on our blog, and we hope to see you joining in our space missions. Thanks.